All right, yes, you're welcome back to the Balance Diet Hotel Entertainment this morning. Now, if you check your Google, in addition to the fact, say rain don't actually start to fall for Lagos, officially came with a heavy downpour this year. Um, some places still never experienced that rain. It goes to fall later in the day, no worry. Just make sure say you carry your raincoat, so that we carry your umbrella or walk out on top. Now, in addition to the rain, we still get other, so, other activities where make sense. We go share it today, we be Friday. And one of those activities, it concerns book. And that's now why we get two cadet guests young people that are young readers and brilliant minds where they encourage book reading for inside our country to my immediate left we get to be right now looking beautiful in a, in a blonde and black outfit and tourage okay. and we get looking all whitish with a speck of black that is life david in the studio oh now welcome oh, now welcome to the studio this morning thank you, thank you. now i start with um I'm um, life, life, da life, David, for you inside the studio now, because I know that you be the convener of this book reading club. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this um, club, what they do, and what to make you even start on. Let's go back to the okay. basics. The book club is dedicated, basically, to a lifelong reading culture and the promotion of a passion for books. The book club was invented or created out of necessity. I was at a point in my life where I knew I needed to read. I found myself in a very tight space where I was surrounded by not only family, but also tenants and workers. And I wasn't comfortable because I had to come back to my mom's house to find my balance. And in doing this, I thought to myself that the only way I could actually find that balance was to find somewhere conducive that I could read about four books I brought from Abuja that I knew will definitely direct me towards a better path. So I decided to make the move to carry about five books and go to a field owned by a friend of mine to just sit down there and read. I always knew that within the, the, the context of a book, I will find the right word that would elevate me out of any form of mental slavery that I found myself. Because I read in a book long ago that if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in, in, a in a book. So I always wanted to know why people said the white people always had a hedge of ours. And I decided I will find those secrets in a book. So the whole essence of starting the book club was to be able to empower people, to be able to personally, intentionally empower their own minds towards the greatness that they desired. So reading solves many problems. And it helps anxiety and stress, especially depression, which has become very rampant in society. Many people on the go, um, go through drug addiction and all that because of simple issues like stress, anxiety, joblessness, depression. So if we can find a, a, a solution for those things, I think the world will be a better place and my life myself will be a better place. And I started this book club to learn for myself. Oh. It's for me. Reading is a personal thing. Reading is not something you go and tell everybody, oh, I'm a reader. No, 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 no. You do it to better yourself. You do it to develop yourself. So do not read to make people happy. Read to make yourself happy. Find a title that resonates with you. So the creation of this book club is to help people like myself to be able to personally, mentally energize their mental space. Beautiful. I like the fact that you did read because you want to develop yourself. Self development is a very important part. Um, maybe now, but I go my first. My confess you now. You know, say our boss for him be the talk in spray spray. He was he was saying speaking in English. Let's come down to the level all of us here. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now talking about because I know say you know former hand. I mean, <laughs> I mean, he had he had a lot of things to say and yeah. he said it well. He composed it well. And let's come down to your own level now. We be the one we concern this book reading. Mm -hmm. Find girl like you. Person go even imagine say the person what you get. Book now, one of them. Yeah. What would be your story behind them? So, you want me to speak in Pidgin? Aha! <laughs> now we're talking. Okay. Um, I started this thing. I joined the book club. When he told me about the book club, I found it like something very, very, very interesting because I also want to be a person that I want to impact something in the society. I don't want to do something that is everywhere, everybody's doing something. I don't go for what everybody's doing. I want to better my own self, and I want to bring out something that is relevant to the society, something I didn't have. So when he said the book club thing, I was like, oh, great. I would love to be part of it. And that's why we're having sessions here at my place in Lagos, because it's something that I want people to understand. These days, you just hear about people jumping into the ocean, Todd Mayland Bridge and stuff. 
is depression. And reading, it actually reduces stress 68%. If you check it out, yes, it's 68%. It reduces it so much because you put your mind into the book. You try as much as possible and see one or two lessons to learn from it so that you can better your life and people around you. Beautiful. Yes. Um, so I might ask, um, like David, how long you don't actually get this book club? Okay. Um, what? Okay, but unofficially, I don't start them since like 2017. Because it was just for me, not only me get my head. I just want to read to better myself, you know, until I find out a lot of other people too want to sit down with me, they read, you know. So, but officially, I, I launched the season one of Abuja in um, September 13th, 2018. You Beautiful. know, ever so. since we started, make I not lie to you, now so more people they come, more people just they come. Because, you know, say anything where they do, it's good that you get better at it. If you be a footballer, the only reason why you go do better now your training, okay? So me now, when I can't decide, say, oh, this book club, I like Camo. Me, I want to do this thing till the day I die. You. Because I want to help people. I know that they help people, I go to help myself. Because if people come for sessions, I don't know the book where you go catch the person. As a book, like yesterday's session, I'm going to go lie you. We get one guy away in, in word of the day, na confidence. I can't ask, say, why confidence? Now the guy can't quote one book. The beginning of the book, it'd be like, say, the man say, I am one of those, the, I am one of those um, um, salesmen that can sell ice to the Eskimos. Ah. Do you know what it means to sell ice to Eskimo? Eskimo, where they surrounded by ice. You won't come sell ice to them. Do you know the level of confidence it will take, confidence it will take yeah. to go and sell ice to an Eskimo? So in, in listening to his own word of the day, I got to understand that, okay, it's not just about service or marketing. You must have that confidence in your product, in what you do. So how can you get that confidence in what you do? One of the ways where me, I get the confidence for this book club, why they do, why I tell you, say, man, this thing will last till I die and it will still continue. Now, because of the laws where they use the guide them, the principles, as I can't discover, say, get within it, they call the five laws of library science. But I can't open again and say, sure. You, so when you first start them, yeah. um, the eye where you they stay look at, not be the eye where no, you No, be the eye where they look at. Now they look at on that, on that global level. Mm -hmm. United Nations said they learn for the matter with the ground. Mm -hmm. Tomio. Now, uh -huh. I'll make an action because our people talk say, not be the same eye where they used to share, chop a banana, they used to share meat. Bagan. Now, with that one, the challenge is where you be they foresee when you first start them. Mm. Not be some of the challenges where they face today. Mm. Some may be like, say, big. Some may be like, say, small. Some may be like, say, not in TV. We could hear some of the challenges where they face for this year, we're not 2020, so. Some of the challenges where they face, first of all, I know they, I they see challenges as opportunity because of the kind of person where I be. During the sessions, me, I can't find out a new word, whether they call inverse paranoid. I find out for Donald Trump book, Think Big. Ask me where to be inverse paranoid, madam. Hmm. But then, Invest paranoid. Invest. I N V E R S E. Then another word, paranoid. P A R A N O I D. Now let us first define paranoid. A paranoid person can be defined as someone who feels that the world is conspiring against them to bring them down, right? An inverse paranoid, or the other way, is someone that believes that the whole world is conspiring in support of them to bring them up. So if the person meet any challenge, they see him as opportunity. If he goes somewhere like this and he say, they say, ah, bro, this thing, you know, if you don't, they say, ha, now God just save me. I know they prepare for that thing, say. Or he just gets it, then he say, oh, um, now God save me. Or maybe now that mission, I for who die. The person always sees any negative thing as a positive thing. So in coming back to your challenges, I see all my challenges as opportunities. Beautiful. Yes. Beautiful. Your confidence level is higher. I miss the film as talk for years. I'm going to enter Ibera, but right now, I'll make we look... For you, let's, let's, let us know about this event because we know, say, another book reading session will share very soon. Yeah. Tell us about this session um, and where they happen. Yes, we're having one today um, around 7 p.m. at the Aaron Small, the rooftop um, Aaron Small, yes. So we're going to have session there. That like, first session we did two days ago, it was awesome. Like we saw crowd, like we're like, what this first day? And I, I'm impressed that people want to read and people have been looking for such a position. If they just say, oh, I have a um, book club now at Shack House, everybody will be like, wow, 
book club right now. Okay, I'll, I'm coming over there. And you can come have a drink, sip some Fanta, and just pick a book and read. So this night is going to be wonderful. It's going to be a great night because we'll be able to share things and read a book. Everybody picks a book, chooses a word, and you talk about that word, a word that you've never heard before. Like there's one word I heard recently, a paradigm. Paradigm. Yes, paradigm. Uh, they know you just learn things every day, and it's amazing. And I like the fact that yeah. all of us as human beings, we always have to learn, unlearn, and relearn. Yeah. And the beautiful, beautiful part yeah. of acquiring knowledge, maybe yeah. that. Um, so now let's talk about um, um, oh, the, 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 the question just entered my head. Okay, as see you talk, what you, as what you talk now. I just okay, like, see, just yesterday's came session. Eh, yesterday's session, there was an amazing word of the day from one um, of the attendees. His word of the day was, "Nobody is born poor." And he broke it down because I was able to relate it to a quote from Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. Napoleon Hill has this quote, and now we use it as the closing prayer for my book club, where he said, he has a prayer like this, O divine providence, I ask not for more riches, but for more wisdom with which to make wiser use of the riches you have given me at birth, consisting in my powers and abilities to direct and control my mind towards whatever ends I may require. Mm. Bagam. Bagam. I'll say it again. O oh, divine providence, I ask not for more riches, but for more wisdom with which to make wiser use of the riches you have given me at birth, consisting in my powers and abilities to control and direct my own mind towards whatever ends I may desire. Keyword, riches given to me at birth. Mm -hmm. That means no one is born poor. Oh. Now, make, uh, the question I won't ask, it just yeah. come back to my head and I say, yeah. we know so we get the conventional style of reading, which is in the book. Yeah. Um, you don't try to look at other options. You know, are, are other options even available at your book club? Yeah. Options like audio reading. Yes. Because a lot of people now, yeah. everybody get uh, out of 10 people, yeah. 10 young guys you see on yeah. the street, yeah. 10 of them have earpieces yes. on their ear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now this one too, go also encourage because that earpiece, a lot of times they're listening to music. Exactly. Now, if audio books day, yeah. where they fit to read, yeah. that one too, go encourage them. Do we have yeah. that option yes. and other options available yeah. aside from the conventional reading? Yes. Now, in my book club, um, I'm very fortunate, I'm very happy to um, announce that in my book club in Abuja, Lagos is not as kitted up yet, but with um, this partnership um, with people like our host, the Shark Boss, mm -hmm. it'll be easy to get more uh, equipment. Of those resources. More of those resources. Like available. in Abuja, we have a whole um, projector where sometimes an anchor can decide to play a movie. That it, is about a book. That is about it's a book. About like our book. last um, anchor, um, Irene, shout out to Irene, Passion for Nigeria, yeah? Shout out. So um, she had this movie she played, Interstellar. It was a movie that tells us about the relationship between love and space and time. Beautiful. It tells you that love is electromagnetic. Mm. It goes beyond space and time. So if you're... I'm going to need, need to go find that, that movie. What's that movie Interstellar. Again? Interstellar. Beautiful. Thank you. you know. Thank you so much. Love is electromagnetic. Magnetic. It goes mm. beyond space and time. Ah ah. Bagam. Ayo. Bagam. Yepa. Bagam. Oh ye. Bagam. Oh shegam. Bagam. All righty. Thank you so much. I wish you not get time <laughs> to stay back. But uh, I don't say today. Now be the, the, the session. The Seven session. p.m. Yes, um, tell us the venue again. Aaron Small. Aaron Small. Bumio, uh, Shack House 101. Shack House 101. I mean, the place where you go. Make yes. sure say you don't miss them at all at all. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And we support you on this journey because we know it's going to be an easy one at all. Thank but you, so you are doing a very good course. So Thank keep you. up the Thank good work. You so Thank much. you. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.